Hi, welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to create a budget approval workflow with JotForm. So follow me to my desktop right now. Let's get started with our JotForm dashboard. And the first thing that we need is a form that we're going to connect to our approvals. So in this case, we're going to use approvals budget panelling form. And now let's head on over to the approvals section. So let's click on the drop down menu, head on over to my approvals. We're going to create a brand new approval. So let's click on the green button. And we have three options. We can start from scratch, which we're going to do on this video. We can do a one step approval or we can use a template that's pre built already. So let's go ahead on over and click on scratch. And this is where we're going to get started with our approvals form. Now let's click on add a form and it's going to open up this section where we can select one of the forms that we've previously created. In this case, we're going to select the approvals budget planning form. So now that we've selected, we're going to head on over to the next step. So we have the basic elements on the left. You can see right here, we have approval, send email, if else condition, conditional branch, merge branches, and end flow. Now let's add the first approval section right here. Now that we've added it, we can select the gear button so we can edit the options right here. Now by default, you have the outcomes, which is approve or deny, and we can add a brand new outcome if we wish. In this case, we're going to leave it that way. Now, who is going to be the approver for this email? We're going to say for this one, it's going to be jot form one and it's going to be example. All right. Example.com. Okay. It, is that person going to have required login for approval or not? In this case, we're going to leave it required. We can customize the request email right here if we like. Now, What's next? Let's add those emails where those are going to be sent to. So if it's approved, they're going to go to the email. And if it's not, it's going to send over another email. So let's click on send email. Let's add both of these elements right here. And we have a little warning dot right here because they are not connected. So let's connect these. So let's hover over the approver and we got these little arrows right here. If we click on it, drag it, click there and let's drag the other arrow to this one. And now we can select the outcome. So let's click on the outcome. And in this case, it's going to be for the approved and the other outcome is going to be for denied. Now, if we add another outcome, we have that little arrow right here. So we can add that also. Now, in this case, we have the email that we want to send if it's approved. So let's click on this section, edit that email, and we're going to edit this subject. So this is email for approved budget. All right, and we can edit this email if we want to use this, change the variables if we don't need to add everything or if we do like it like it is, then it's great to go, all right? We can also select the recipient. In this case, we'll leave it for this one. The sender name, we could change that also and recipient email. So let's save this. And now let's go ahead and edit the deny email. All right, and this is email for denied budget, right? Again, we can edit this if we like, let's change the recipient, if it's going to be different or not. Let's save that. And this would be the basic. Now, what we have to do is add an inflow. So this ends, this is really important that we add it at the end. Okay. So we're telling it that this is where it's going to end. This is how you would build a basic budget workflow for the approval. Now, if we want to make it a little bit more complex and say, you know what, we need two approvers for this. For example, if someone needs to filter out the general approval, so let's just say, you know what, this budget is just way out of hand. It, we're not going to go to the next step. The, like the owner doesn't have to do this or the boss or whatever. Okay. So we're going to add another section. So let's get rid of this one right here. Okay. Let's confirm. And in this case, if it's approved, we're going to add another approver. So remember, we're using JotForm1 at example.com. That's the first email. But if that gets approved, well, it's going to have a second layer of approval in this case. So let's click on this and let's change the email. And this one is going to be JotForm2 at example.com. All right. So we added a second layer. Again, let's add another email right here. Let's drag it inside of here drag it there. Hold on. And if it's denied, it's going to go to this same email. Now let me just kind of get this. So it looks nicer because it's kind of weird there. There we go. Okay. 
the outcome is going to be approved and this one is going to be denied. Now, let me explain to you what's happening in this workflow for the budget approval. So what we're going to do is when someone fills out this form for the budget that they need, it's going to go through the first person right here. If he denies it, it's going to go straight to denial and it's going to send out the email for denied budget. Okay. Now, if this first filter says, you know what? It's approved. It's going to go to the second filter. So the second person who is like on top or more in charge also approves it or denies it. So it's like a second filter to get rid of the people who solicited a budget that's just way out of hand. That's just not going to be approved. So this person doesn't have to take care of those. All right. So that's a second layer. And when this one approves it, it's going to send out the email approval. And if he denies it, it's going to go to the same workflow for the email that denies it. Now to finish off, let's just do a test. So we see how these emails look when we're going to receive them for the approval or denial. Let me add our test email right here for the first approval. Okay. And let's go ahead and publish. Let's copy our link. Let's open incognito tab. Okay. Here's our budget planning form and the department we're going to say for sales the period it's going to be three and what we're going to ask for is uh, supplies for medical area okay priority is going to be normal and the cost is i don't know something crazy like one thousand and five hundred dollars right and we could add more right there remember this is just a template and this one is my name, title, budget for medical, all right? The email, which is at the same test email, cite it, and we're going to submit it. So now we should get that email where we're gonna deny or approve this budget. So let's go check that out. Okay, we just received our email right here and we can see, please review the request below. So now we can approve it or deny it. We have the information that we filled out, the approval budget planning form, which is for the department sales. What are they asking for? Supplies for medical area, and it's $1,500 that they need. For period three, expected total budget, the name, the title, and the signature, and the email. So what we're gonna do, approve or deny. Let's just say, you know what? $5,500 is just way out of budget, and we are going to deny. And it opens up our approval section where we can also view it and decide what we're going to do with it. Let's go to our inbox. Here is the form that we filled out and we can reassign it. We can add some notes and we can do much more things with this approval section that we have. This is how we create our approval budget workflow on job form. Well, we thank you all for watching this tutorial. Follow us on our next ones on this channel. Well, I'll see you later. Bye bye.